Nostalgia is very interesting because it operates in a very untruthful way. It doesn't actually represent the reality of a memory. It is loaded with exoticism. It behaves as a push as opposed to a pull to the very thing that you're nostalgic about. And for me, that's been these materials that I'm actually looking at through the scanning electron microscope, which is soil and yasmin or jasmine from my grandmother's garden in Damascus and soap from Aleppo. I've mixed these elements with my dead skin cells and I've examined them up to 50,000 times. And the closer you look, the further you actually become because through that magnification, such extreme magnification, it becomes very abstract. And I find that push and pull between distance and an examination really interesting. I've uh, been working towards being an artist since I was quite young. Looking back at my old work, I can always see I was interested in the intangibility. I guess it's been 10 years, since 2009, when I was doing my bachelor's in photography. It didn't start with using the microscope itself. It was the concept of, actually it was my skin initially, and it was looking at it as almost an illusion of a barrier between the interior and exterior. Wanting to explain this concept, I then worked with a physicist to uh, work with a scanning electron microscope and look at my dead skin cells. The apparatus has been a way for me to describe what it is that I want to say. It's not uh, the phenomenon of the machine or anything like that. My work has changed, like I would hope any artist, and I hope and know it will continue to change as everything in life does. I'm obsessed with this fact that the visible spectrum occupies one one thousandth of one percent of the full spectrum, which means we don't see anything. That's really fascinating because we judge the way we function in society and how we communicate and everything based on the things that we know, the things that we see, the things that we can touch. Um, but there's so much more that we can't. And working within that scale means that we can discuss more ephemeral notions such as borderlessness or more conceptual notions like connectivity. On a cellular level, there isn't such things as division and separation and uh, solidity. So you're then able to explore that notion when you're looking at the intangible and the invisible.